This is Pop Freak, and I am, ha and I am happy to announce hmm. we have another new series coming. It is Pops on the Rise. So, stay tuned. First episode today, we have a lot to go. But in case you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the bell, comment this video, please. Um, like and share the video. Um, follow my um Facebook group, which is Pop Freak YouTube page. We rarely post on that, so. I don't know if you guys still want to follow it, um, but follow Instagram, which is pop underscore freak underscore yt, and yeah, enjoy the video, guys. Um, alright, so, we have about, like, 19 or 18, I would say, and this is gonna be a long one, so you may want to grab a cup of drink, like, I'm talking a pretzel, or maybe, if you're eating, if you're watching this as you're eating breakfast, and good for you! Um, just eat your bowl of cereal, eat your, um... Bagels don't get diabetes. All I can say, I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, first up, we have Armor Titan Six Inch Pop. He's he is from he's worth ninety bucks now, but he was originally seventy. Now he is ninety dollars. It's pretty cool. The thing metallic is from nine fifty to one thousand one hundred sixty. That is a crazy one. That's probably, that's a very, um, that's a very expensive pop that jumped up in value. It's pretty cool. The Police 3-pack Funko Shop exclusive was it originally $49. Now it's at $60, so that was an evenly uh, jump. The Travis Kellis pop hmm. is, he's a, um, I think he's like a person from the Eagles, I think. He is worth 35 He was $35. Now he is 110 That's pretty good. And Milton the Toaster was originally $25. Now he is 41 That's a pretty good pop. Um, I, I do own that. I do own that. He's, oh, sorry. Sorry, fan. He's up. Oh, shit. He is up in my ad icon section. There somewhere. Oh no. Sorry, hold up. Right, yeah, we have the Iron Giant. That was from $9 and that was worth $17. That's pretty good. We have the Dwight with Doll, which is worth $35 and he is now $75. He's pretty good pop. I would love to see if Funko actually would do a um like instead of the um like Funko Shop sticker they're doing like that instead of that sticker they're actually doing a sticker that's his that's his re-release almost or something because I feel like the first batch would go up in a lot of money but oh well I don't know <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but the anti venom was a ninety five dollars to one sixty this really pisses me off. Cause I went to a I went to box lunch one day. They had one of those in the back counter. I was like, "Hey, is that for sale?" And they were like, "They were like, yeah, that's for sale." I was like, "Oh, I'll think about getting it." And I didn't get it. I was so stupid. I should have got that because he's worth one sixty. Can I grail in my collection? <laughs> I'm fake crying, guys. It's sad, man. Like for real, it's damn sad. <laughs> but oh. Sorry, just the freaking camera like slipping down. I don't know why. But yeah, so we have Bob's Big Boy with sunglasses, the original version. That was at 160 and now it's worth 190 The anti venom I'm definitely gonna be picking up soon, hopefully in the near future. The red Riddington was at $75 from Blacklist, I think. I don't know. That sounded so racist. Blackout, I think. I really don't know how that how it's called though. I'm sorry. <laughs> He was at seventy-five dollars, and that was worth ninety-five. Hmm. The Jason Voorhees Glow in the Dark Chase was at one fifty, and that was worth two fifty. It's pretty good. The Crisp Pop, I wanted to get that and the Quake the Two Pack Bundle, but I was not able to. I wasn't gonna get it, but I should have picked it up because it's, it's sad. He was at thirty-five dollars, but now he is worth fifty-five dollars. Hmm. Yeah, a little depressing. The Forbial um buffery from um fa friends is was it's sixty dollars and now she's worth ninety dollars. 
pretty good. The Dwyan Wade was a two hundred dollars, and that was worth two eighty. That's pretty good. It's it's an older pop, which is good. They're finally getting some attention. The Genius Pop from um oh, I forgot what it's called um. One Punch Man, yeah, from One Punch Man. He was at $50, and now he is worth $75. He's pretty cool. I like those robotic arms he has. And the 422 sec the 442 second Clone Trooper was at $55, and now is worth $70 from 2017 Galactic Convention Exclusive. Shared with FYE. Ah, oh, that's a good one. If I was just collecting back in 2017, I would definitely pick that up. Maybe a couple to flip in the near future. I'm kidding. Hmm. Hmm. It's gone. Um, I can't even get it sourced. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up our first episode for a pop on the rise. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Comment below if you want to see more of this series, which we definitely will. I'm thinking of once when one of my friends on YouTube posts his pop losers he does. I'll subscribe to Funko Pop Stars. Pretty good YouTube channel. They're pretty dope. Subscribe to them. Um, yeah, once they post theirs, I'll post mine the next day. Um, but yeah, 